You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Hard to believe Ferguson up in Missouri is still bubbling with more rioting and state senator getting arrested. I've not really been doing my job uh, the last few weeks of covering that properly, though InfoWars Nightly News has been doing that. There's a lot of really important mixed Ebola news today. Some shocking information, quite frankly. We're going to be breaking all of that down coming up. And we have Freeway Ricky Ross, not Rick Ross, the fake uh, rapper that uh, resembles a black Jabba the Hutt, but the real Rick Ross, uh, who was the biggest cocaine dealer ever known on the West Coast, $30 million a day at some points for the Central Intelligence Agency as a distributor to fund the Iran-Contra operation. That, of course, has now been declassified and confirmed, validating Gary Webb. That's why Gary Webb, who'd uh, won a whole bunch of awards, had to have two bullets pumped into his brain back in 2004. Now, 10 years later, there's a big hit movie out that I've talked a lot about, very powerful. And that, of course, is Kill the Messenger, based on a book that Webb wrote before he died. We got Rick Ross joining us uh, coming up at the bottom of the next hour. Of course, uh, there's a major character in the film uh, who plays the part of Rick Ross. We'll get his take on the film uh, and more. Of course, I knew Rick Ross back at the time and interviewed him, and I knew um, Webb had interviewed him. But we can still talk to Rick Ross. They haven't killed him yet. Knock on wood. Hope that doesn't. Hope that doesn't happen. IMDb gives it a 7.3. It deserves more like a nine because if you knew Gary Webb and Rick Ross and, and the players and followed it, you would know how accurate this film is, almost like a documentary. And, and it's not just about the CIA bringing drugs in. Everybody knows that, pretty much everybody, unless you're totally living under a rock in denial. They've been caught so many times. It's how they destroyed someone, how they killed his name and then killed him. But still, like a phoenix, he's risen again bigger than ever. It's like Obi-Wan Kenobi, strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. And I think the film hit me so hard because, uh, to use a socialist term, but I don't use it as the socialists mean it, I am and, and, and have been and will be a fellow traveler with people like Gary Webb who are threatened and attacked and assassinated in the media. They've told me they will assassinate me. Very serious people relayed that message in very serious ways. And they told him a lot that before they killed him as well. But that's all part of the great journey, isn't it? And all part of being a winner is not selling out to dehumanization and tyranny. When everybody sells out out of fear, evil wins and takes over, and then you're ultimately destroyed and you have hell on earth. When good men and women take the field and stand up against all the different forms of tyranny and oppression, you create renaissance systems uh, that are built of honor and chivalry. And that's the type of system I want to be in. So Rick Ross will be joining us today. He was going to be on via Skype, but is having some problems. So he'll probably be on for a whole hour in the next few weeks or hell. He's off probation now. They've been harassing him. We need to fly him out here for an in-studio interview. That's probably what we should do or for a film. That's an idea. We ought to talk to Rick about that today. Uh, and then another filmmaker is joining us. Uh, there's no place like Utopia. Rick Ross is a filmmaker too now. Uh, Joel Gilbert will be with us uh, in the third hour today to talk about the fake liberalism of collectivism and how it's really the ultimate form of domestication and disenfranchisement and tyranny. So that is all coming up as we pull back the curtain and reveal the little man behind the curtain. And all it takes, everybody else, Dorothy and the Scarecrow and the Cowardly Lion, they're all cowering in fear, but not little Toto. Little Toto, all it takes is a child to call out that the emperor is butt naked. Uh, all it takes is the little dog to pull back the curtain and show that the great and powerful Federal Reserve isn't even federal at all. We'll be right back on the other side of this quick break. 
I am your host, Alex Jones, and we're all on this great journey together. And yes, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel body armor just won't quit. The experts are clear. Sunlight, purified water, healthy non-GMO food, and having a good attitude is essential to a healthy immune system. But I go further with Super Nascent Iodine X2 from InfoWarsLife.com. 50% stronger than our original and revolutionary nascent iodine formula, coming from a deep earth crystal source that no other supplier has. Most other forms of iodine come from seaweed in areas plagued by Fukushima and other contaminants. Not our iodine, it comes from over 200 100 million year old crystal salt deposits and is tested and proven to be completely pure. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today. See the informational videos. Read the information they're compiled. And for a limited time, when you use promo code NOW at checkout, you get an additional 5% off the entire family of InfoWarsLife.com products. Secure your Survival Shield X2 today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Using unparalleled research in the development of a synergistic formulation based around the key concepts of super oxygenation, the next level in cleansing is here. With key ingredients backed by real clinical studies, the new Oxy Powder, available through InfoWars Life, was invented during Dr. Group's research on the toxification of our bodies. Many herbal colon cleansers are harsh on the body and contain cheap and potentially dangerous ingredients, oftentimes full of synthetic fillers, GMOs, additives, or worse. Gently start cleaning your body with easy capsules that start working while you sleep. Oxy powder does not require time off work, and there's no need for bad tasting concoctions. Instead, Oxy powder slowly releases monoatomic oxygen into the intestinal tract and body. Experience the astonishing cleansing power of superoxide and ozonide technology. Go to InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsStore.com to get started with Oxy powder, or call 1-888-253-3139. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. In Dallas, Texas, three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade in downtown Dallas. The first reports say that President Kennedy has been seriously wounded by this shooting. It is a big idea. A new world order. It was almost as if it were a planned implosion. It just pancaked. Either you were with us, or you were with the terrorists. But I also believe that a lot of gun owners would agree that AK-47s belong in the hands of soldiers, not in the hands of criminals. Guns will be taken, and no one will be able to be armed. We're going to take all the guns. For many of the police and guard troops, it is an uncomfortable job to do this in an American city. It's global governance at last. Is it one world? The central bank is in charge. But aren't we all just living and dying for what the central banks do? As for me, give me liberty or give me death! Live, live from the Infowars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. Yes, my friends, and it is the 21st day already of October 2014.
before you know it, a twinkle of the eye, it'll be 2015 and beyond. We have Freeway Ricky Ross, the biggest known cocaine dealer in West Coast history, who worked for the Central Intelligence Agency he later learned in federal court. And he's part of the subject in the film, Kill the Messenger, that's a hit film right now and extremely accurate, about the late, great Gary Webb. So that's coming up for 30 minutes at the bottom of the next hour. Then filmmaker Joel Gilbert, There's No Place Like Utopia, will give us a take on his film now out on DVD and tie it into what's currently happening and what he thinks Obama, who he's been tracking and researching very closely, what he thinks Obama will do next as he becomes incredibly toxic. If you go to drudgereport.com, that's the headline up there. From patron saint to pariah, how Obama became toxic for the Democrats. And that's out of the London Telegraph. And Democrats running for the House and Senate are in trouble, whether they're incumbents or running against a incumbent Republican. They are in deep, deep trouble. Some of the Republicans are good libertarian Tea Party types. I'd say about half of them from the numbers I've seen that are running and winning right now and, and set to win in the polls in this midterm election. That's just a few weeks away now. But a lot of them are neocon rhino types, unfortunately, that are working with the Democrats and raising money from different establishment special interest groups to try to stop any attempt to right America's course onto a course that will give us some basic prosperity. The political elite just have a will to power, a will to crush this country, a will to break the free market and cement their criminal takeover. The difference is we're not going to sit here flat footed and put a bunch of Republicans in and then watch them do the same old thing over and over again. All the numbers, all the polls show there is a major political awakening, a major political realignment that hasn't happened in over 100 plus years in this country. And it's happening all over the world as well. And with the singularity approaching off in the distance and many, many singularities on the path to that, everything is compacted, everything is accelerated right now. And the political elite better know thousands of armored vehicles, billions of rounds of ammo, militarized police are not going to protect you if you shut down the economy and steal everything. A free market and prosperity is what protects elites and nouveau riche and prosperity. But time and time again in history, elites get greedy. Everybody knows the story of the golden goose, Aesop's fables. Where this goose starts laying golden eggs and the farmer becomes incredibly rich. And then he gets greedy and goes to the goose and says, I want two eggs every day. And the goose says, all I can lay is one golden egg a day. And then the goose does as hard as it can and lays two golden eggs. And the farmer comes back and says, I want three or I'm going to kill you and cut those eggs out. Finally, the goose couldn't lay any more eggs. And the farmer came with a hatchet and split its guts open and there was no eggs inside, ladies and gentlemen. And this is what political greedy systems do over and over again. For short-term gain, they slaughter the entire herd as they see us, and then there's no cows the next year. And I put that out from an elitist perspective that we're all a bunch of human resources, animals that are dumber than a box of rocks, and they're all up there just to prey on us and lie to us. Why would any of you elitist want to create a world where your kids have to be raised around a bunch of brain damaged people? Now I'm going to get into Ebola. I'm going to get into a bunch of science news. There is a lot of really powerful news today. IBM is plunging in stocks. Uh, McDonald's is plunging as well. ISIS is making big gains and big moves in Iraq. Huge uh, Ebola news. The Ebola czar, I, I told you, worked for Al Gore and, and eugenics. He's now come out, we have the video, and said population reduction is needed. And the biggest problem is the population in Africa. And he said this a year ago. And he says the number one problem is overpopulation.
This is a big carbon taxer globalist that wants to tax the West but put